by Lao, who's been Herculean in her efforts, honestly, <laughs> um, in supporting this uh, campaign. And I just thank you, thank you so much. And please, she'd like to share, share a few words. Thank you. Pleasure. I'm going to miss our monthly meetings with uh, 20 people around the table to make sure that this was going to come to fruition. Um, it's great to see so many people here today, um, and it's even greater to recognize so many faces. Um, it just proves how the arts community comes together around such important projects such as this one, but also as this community comes together. Let's not forget that arts has been in this neighborhood for a long, long time. To the point that it started attracting developers to this neighborhood. <laughs> but the community was smart enough to make sure that they could coexist and that we could have some benefits coming out of uh, these new buildings and welcoming a new neighborhood while continuing to have the arts in here. And that's why I couldn't go without thanking the residents of this neighborhood. People like Active 18, some of the people I see, Charles here, Kim, I see so many people here that are made this uh, possible. And I see the former counselor of the area, Adam Jambroni here. Thank you, Adam, for joining us today. This all started while he was here. And I would like to acknowledge our MP as well, Andrew Cash. Thank you for joining us today as well. And I think that's uh, by bringing people together, by bringing the community together, that's how we're able to have such great projects, maintain our heritage, continue to have arts in this community, continue to make sure that we're going to have arts live through our Artscape lofts, work through our theater center here, enjoy our community through our new park that is going to be built, uh, uh, that is going to be arts oriented and continue to even work with our Toronto Media and Arts Cluster that is going to be opening here uh, in the new 2-6 Lisgar. There's going to be a huge arts cluster in this neighborhood. And this is a statement that this community thanked our artists, wants to keep our artists, and wants to see them thrive in our city. So I think that Ward 18 is very supportive of our arts community. That's the message that I take here from here today. Thank you for coming here. We'll be with you all the way. We want you to be in our community and we'll be supporting you at City Hall. Um, uh, the mayor asked me to uh, bring a scroll on his behalf because he couldn't make it to the event. So Frank, I'd like to present um, Members of Toronto City Council uh, extend warmest congratulations to the Theatre Centre on the official groundbreaking for its new centre at the former Carnegie Library. Toronto is strong, vibrant and progressive, due in large part to the creativity and talent of our city's residents. The Theatre Centre develops, develops, presents and produces live performances as is and is committed to providing a space for artists to make their artistic vision a reality. Today's groundbreaking ceremony at the former Carnegie Library will provide a theater center with a permanent home and allow artists to thrive in one of the city's historic buildings. Best wishes for much success. Mayor Rob Ford, Councillor Annabella. Um, leadership. May I go? Um, leadership underscores the strength and success for every major organizational milestone. And I'm now delighted to have our campaign chair, Michelle Fadani, 